the most was the time trial. And of course, the rain that was going on all day yesterday carried over all night and definitely carried into the time trial. And at the start, they had a start ramp. Metal stairs going up, a little bit dangerous, and a metal ramp going down, a lot more dangerous. It was like a big slip and slide. So my orders to the riders was don't even pedal on that start ramp. David Williams, our best time trialist, was the first rider off. So we really didn't get course conditions until he came back. We found out kind of cross headwind the whole way out, needed a lot of power, and on the way back, it was cross tailwind, and so it was extremely fast, and David said he was spun out the whole entire time. So we made some adjustments to some of the other riders' gears to be able to give them a little bit bigger chain rings to have a little bit more of a chance of being able to keep up with the speed on the return. David did a good ride, but finished up 13th because he was spun out, and the rest of the riders, even with the big chain, bigger chain rings, struggled a little bit in the time trial. I saw Stefan Schumacher, who won the time trial, and I saw he had a big old pie plate on his front chain ring, 56 teeth, and I'm sure he used every tooth to his advantage. So tomorrow we go into the Quebec circuit race. A shorter race, 130 kilometers, got a little kicker of a hill, so it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be furious, and a lot of riders are gonna be trying to attack to be able to upset the Hincapie boy that right now has the yellow jersey. So overall, hopefully everybody's hoping at least that the rain will stop, have some sunshine tomorrow for the Quebec circuit city race. <laughs>